High school won the state long jump championship, beat the man who eventually became the Olympic gold medal winner, Randy Williams, 24 feet 2 inches. Just a superb athlete. Wants to be an actor. Gain of three, second down seven. Southern Cal on Ohio State's 38. USC ahead, 3-0, 10-25 to go in the first period. That's McNeil in motion. on the top. 30. He's to the 26. Hanson Moore, who didn't carry the ball much this year. 440 carries by the tailback. 40 carries by the fullback. All right, this may have been an automatic. They were playing very wide defensively. Beautifully, he hands it off. They hit behind the flow. The hole is there. Runs pretty well. He is a tremendous competitor, this young man. And what a blocker. He was a tailback in high school. Here he is again. Look at him pick that way, the way with the feet a good fullback should do. He escaped Middleton there. And the hit made by Steve Luke. Anthony Davis. Trying to slant off the left side. No gaze. Pete Cusick, the strongest man on the Ohio State team. Number 71. A weightlifter. Woody Hayes was giving a lecture one time and was exploiting the late Harry Truman, who was the greatest man he'd ever known. And Cusick said, what about Charles Atlas? Second down, 10. USC at Ohio State's 26. Deep drop back by Hayden. Trying to get out of the pocket. Here's your first sack of the game. Hayden is brought down on the 30. The next time Hayden passes, notice how deep he drops. 10, 12, sometimes 15 yards. Sets up very deeply. Arnie Jones and Randy Gratishar in there to dump him for the loss back to the Ohio State 30. Okay, the thing we were talking about before is the diversity of the Trojan team. We have not seen, we saw one draw. We have not seen the screen. We have not seen Lynn Schwann on the reverse. They use that rather frequently just to keep the team offside. The screen or Lynn, not a bad call. Neil Colsey over covering Lynn Swan. This is a third and 14. And that is a diving attempt by Lynn Swan. Three or four of the passes to him have not been on target. They've been around him. And here's Chris Lamahalu coming in again. Kicked the longest field goal of his career. Just a couple of minutes ago, a 47-yarder. He's 5'5", five, five, is he? 135 pounds. Very kind of small. 135 pounds. Another 47-yard attempt. It is up. This kick is short. Touchback. Ohio State holds, and the Buckeyes will take over on their 20 yard line. So while well, the Buckeyes line up and get ready to try to move the ball to score, USC 3, Ohio State. Archie Griffin. And he got to the 25 to his 27. What a year he's had. First sophomore in the 50 year history of the Big Ten Conference to win the most valuable player award. He was a total offensive leader in the conference. He gained 1,428 yards this year. Every game he played, he went over at least 100 yards, and sometimes he only played half the game. Second down, three. Ohio State on his 27. They're trailing 3-0. They bring Bash Nagel in motion, the wing back. They give it to Griffin again. He's to the 33-yard line. Art Riley, the right tackle, Jim Sims, the outside linebacker, made the hit. All right, they're reading the defense very well. Archie Griffin starts to his right, heads back. They're reading Marty Doris, the middle guard, playing on the nose. Whichever way he goes, that man is going to go opposite. Ohio State has their first first down of the game. They're on their 33-yard line. When you get a close-up of Archie Griffin, look at his neck and shoulders and upper body. He breaks more tacklers than any runner Ohio State's ever had. Very powerful. Up above. The pass is to the Red Puggage, the tight end, number 80. Jim Sims and Charlie Phillips tackled him. Ohio State goes to the air. 
What a beautiful play as in football is play action. They fake it to Pete Johnson. He wasn't afraid by that interception, came right back with it, held the linebackers with a play action, hits his tight end, Puggish. Red Puggish, by the way, his entire family here, 13 in a van, in a traveling van from Pennsylvania they came here. Up the middle goes Pete Johnson. What a player this man's going to be. Look at him. He is just a freshman. He dragged three Michigan players across the goal line, five yards out. He's from Long Beach, New York, weighs 236. They want him to lose about 10 pounds next year. Be a little quicker. But he could be one of their all-time great fullbacks, and they've had a line of them, as Woody Hayes will tell you. It's now on the 37 of USC, second down, a yard to go. Ohio State on the move. The pitch to Griffin. And the Griffin is stopped at the 37. Sims, 41, 85, Mitchell, the outside linebacker. And the freshman, Gary Jeter, from Cleveland, Ohio, the number one prospect from the state of Ohio, left Ohio and came to USC. Kurt, the man they're trying to beat is Monty Doris. Monty Doris plays head up on the center. The two linebackers, Richwood, 83, generally plays to his left. 55, Chuck Anthony, generally plays to his right. If you read, the runner is going to hit opposite. Let's see if they can get it. USC ahead, 3-0. Ohio State has a third and one on the USC 37. Archie Griffin has the first down as he squirms across the USC 35 to the USC 34. The middle guard, Monty Doris, tackling number 72. All right, they're jamming in there. Steve Myers in the center. Just trying to get that first down. That's all you need to do. That's the strength you were talking about, Kurt of Archie Griffin. He was a wrestler in high school. So was Anthony Davis. First down, Ohio State. They have driven from their own 20-yard line. Archie Griffin again. Found daylight, and then it was suddenly closed up by Monty Doris, who tackled him from behind, and Mitchell slid over from the left linebacking spot. Griffin has three older brothers who graduated from college. He has three younger brothers on their way to Ohio State. Gain of two yards. Second down, eight. A typical Ohio State time-consuming play-eating drive. Second down eight. Cornelius Green puts him down. Brings Bashnagel in motion. Gives the ball to the fullback. Coming through is Pete Johnson. And he's to the 26-yard line of USC. Nailed there by Richard Wood, 83, and Charles Anthony, 55. A thing they could not do last year in this very game. They could not handle the two tackles. They could not handle a linebacker. Monty Doris is a good one. They know they've got to stop the middle. That's their Achilles heel right now. Joe Ship has come in. Al Green giving off to Pete Johnson again. They run that big pull back up the middle. And it's a first down, Ohio State. James Sims tackling. Woody Hayes, Al, has always loved that full back up the middle. And he's using this freshman right now. And hasn't he always loved to have big, great tackles? And in Schumacher and Hicks, he's got two outstanding offensive tackles. Ohio State on the Southern Cal 23, a first down. In motion, Bash Nagel. Pete Johnson, four carries in a row. He's right at the 20-yard line where the two middle linebackers, Wood and Anthony, nailed him. Second down, seven to go for Ohio State. And a timeout has been called by the University of Southern California. Coming up for the Buckeyes. That time, the fullback doesn't get much. Pete Johnson, Monty Doris, the middle guard, waiting for him that time. And he's right off the nose of the center. He's playing on that nose that you just said, Kurt. It's a one-on-one -on -one block. He also gets some good help from Jim Sims from the outside. Nice play. Straighten your man up, drive for him. Linebacker comes to help out. Al, I'm surprised they're running the fullback that much. They haven't all year. Well, Kurt, I think it's really the defense. They figure if there's two linebackers are going to stand, stand up in the hole, the guards can blow them out. 
If the center could handle Monty Doris, it could be a very big play. And now Ohio State has called a timeout. This is Cornelius Green coming to the sideline, a sophomore from Washington, D.C. Ohio State has never had a sophomore as quick as this man. He was the second leading runner on the team. Very quick feet and uh, has beautiful balance, hard to knock down. I wouldn't be surprised to see him take off on the option player very shortly. And back in a fullback now is Bruce Elia, which may mean a change in the Ohio State offensive strategy. Right, now Bruce Elia, as we mentioned earlier, is a, was a linebacker. Young man out of Cliffside Park, New Jersey, Cliffside High. He is a great blocker. We saw him block in some of the films that the Ohio State coaches showed us in number 36, Kimpapa. Coming up next, the 1974 Orange Bowl game for Miami, LSU, Penn State, NBC Sports, number one in live coverage of major sports events all year round. It's a third and six. Dave Hazel is a wide receiver to the left. Ohio State on the USC 19. Green is going to try and throw it, and he was rushed hard. In there on him, Monty Doris, number 72, and Jim Sims, 41, to put a tremendous pass rush on Cornelius Green. Fourth and sixth, Ohio State on the USC 19. And now the little place kicker's on, 155-pound Blair Conway from Middleburg Heights, Ohio, who kicked five out of 10. He is going to try a 36-yard field goal. Ash Nagel is holding. I think USC's offside. The kick is up. The kick is no good to the left, but it appeared offside. USC was offside on the play. I thought I saw that blur of white on the right side. Now, this may change some strategy. This will put the ball on the 14-yard line, and they'll have a fourth and one. Going back, Archie Griffin, Pete Johnson into the Ohio State backfield. That right side was offside. Offside, USC, out on the 14-yard line, and Ohio State will have a fourth down and one yard to go. You know, Woody doesn't gamble much. He doesn't run wide very much. You can be sure USC will be looking for the big man up the middle. There's the old-fashioned great T formation. Full house deep. Archie Griffin blasting and has the first down. Well, maybe not. They're going to measure. Of course, uh, you get an angle up here, high, looking one way. They want to be sure on this one. So they bring the chain gang on for the measurement. Ohio State's had a 13-play drive. First down. And the Ohio State fans like it. Thousands here at the Buckeye State. The USC fans are quiet. Those are the Ohio State fans. They continue to jam the middle, Kurt, defensively and wisely, trying to force Ohio State to the outside. Dale Mitchell may have a big assignment. He's playing wide, one of the linebackers. Ohio State on the USC 13. That's Griffin bursting to the seven. James Sims and Charles Anthony. Well, he accelerates very quickly. First time he carried the ball, 18 years old, he fumbled. Then he went on to rack up 239 yards in his first varsity game against North Carolina which broke a 21-year Ohio State single-game rushing record. A timeout, again, by Ohio State. They have used two timeouts in this period. You know, it's kind of interesting now. The way, now, first of all, we've got to keep in mind that when you're playing the kind of possession football that Ohio State plays, you must, it's absolutely essential that, essential that you score. Now, three points here would be a, a defeat for Ohio State. They won the touchdown, of course. Let's listen to the Buckeye battle cry here. Ohio State 
Panthers used six and a half minutes in this drive. They have come from their 20-yard line to the USC eight-yard line. They have a second down and five to go. The ball goes to Pete Johnson, the freshman fullback. 236 pounds of him. Blasted down by Richard Wood, the middle linebacker of USC, and Dale Mitchell, the left linebacker. This fellow stumbling up the middle for a freshman. Boy, he is, and that offensive line is showing me something. This is a very good, a great Ohio State team. Well, you heard Woody on our pregame show. Is this the best one ever? He'll tell you after the Rose Bowl game. It's 54, 68 teams, won them all, including the Rose Bowl. They're that short of foot. And he wants to wait and see how they do against a very fine USC team today. Third down and a foot to go for Ohio State on the USC three-yard line, three-and-a-half yard line. A minute and a half to play in the first period. USC ahead, three to nothing. Over the ball, Steve Myers. His father is the chief of police of Kent, Ohio. And that's Johnson again. Blasting just short of the goal line. Richard Wood hit him there, but he appears to have the first and goal to go. Ohio State's on the two-yard line of USC. The first and goal to go. The old full house tee. Again, Johnson. They stop him. The surprise has been the way they've used their fullback. But they've always used the fullback down around the goal line. Champ Henson scored 20 touchdowns last year. Bruce Elias scored 13 this season. Now it's resting on the one-yard line, second down, a yard to go for an Ohio State touchdown. And that front is outstanding. Schmer, Kriegel, Myers, Mack, and Hicks, they're good. This will be the 18th play on this drive. There he is. The freshman scores. Pete Johnson. What a throw. It must be for him. He attended Peach County High School in Georgia before moving to New York in his senior year of high school. He runs 110 1, 236 pounds now. There it is. Right there. Let's watch Archie Griffin lead him in here on our second rerun. The tailback, 45, blasting ahead. And he takes out Parker, and Johnson's over. Ohio State takes the lead. Conway for the extra point. Fashnagel sets it down. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Ohio State on a punishing, grinding, 80-yard march. Kicking off. It'll be Blair Conway, Anthony Davis, and Alan Carter, two deep men at the five-yard line. Carter away from you. Davis closest to you. Here's the kick. Davis handles this on a one-yard line. Out to the 15 to the 20. And he's down on his 23-yard line by Ted Smith, the linebacker. Reserve linebacker. Playing on the specialty teams. USC. Put the ball in play on their 23 with a first down. They're trailing 7-3. to three. And the Trojans, though, Kurt, they cannot give the football to Ohio State because they can move the ball. So Pat Hayden, right now, has it cut out for him. He must establish some kind of an uh, offense or they're, they're going to have problems. All right, Davis and Moore behind Pat Hayden. The pitch toss to Anthony Davis. Ohio State defensing him very well thus far. Steve Luke was a center last year. How about this, converting from a center to a defensive cornerback, a very unusual conversion. Number 46, Steve Luke from Massillon, Ohio. Famous high school football city, Massillon, Ohio, where Paul Brown got his start. Kurt, I've got to go back to that defense. We don't want to be technical. It's a rather simple thing, but they're using virtually the same defense as USC. It looks like a five, but it becomes a three, four. Three-man line, four linebackers, three, four, four. Hayden slipped as he set up, and the ball is off the hands of J.K. McKay. Pat Hayden slipped, and I think that destroyed his timing. He threw a high ball that time. He's usually 
very accurate. Just a natural passer. 5'11", not tall, not as tall as you'd like him to be with a big arm rushing lineman. Now watch how deeply he sets up. That takes a strong arm to set up that deep. The deepest man we saw set up in the pros, Joe Namath. He sets up 8, 10 yards like this youngster. There's a pass. He hits the tight end side of it. He had something on that one. Oh, he just zinged it through his tight end over out of it. Tim Fox hit him and knocked him down. First down, USC. Made the first down. Ball was on the 38 yard line. And there's the timeout. That's the end of the first period with the score Ohio State 7, USC 3. USC with the ball on their 38. They're trailing 7 to 3. They've just picked up a first down. Davis stopped at his 39-yard line by Randy Gratishar. And so far, Davis has been unable to move. Second down, nine. Ohio State's run 22 plays in this game. USC's run 16. Well, this defense is so different that it's going to take all kinds of second effort. Anthony Davis, very much like Griffin, fighting for every inch of the way. Davis has made six yards in five carries. Second down, nine. Hayden on the deep drop. Out of the pocket he comes to the 40, 45, 50, 45 of Ohio State. And he's jumped there by Neil Colby like a sack of potatoes. But he picks up a first down. Watch him at the end of this run, Al. All right, this wasn't a patented quarterback draw. Remember, Vic Kegel, the middle linebacker, is dropping. We said it's a different defense. He comes up the middle, the scramble. Number 10. Watch this. Oh, That's Neil Colsey who cut him down. First down USC now on the Ohio State 43. And the leading rusher in the game, Pat Hayden for USC, the quarterback after that scramble. Hayden, great protection. Going deep to Swan, can't get it. No interference. Steve Luke covering Swan. All the way, mashing in stride for stride. Second down 10, he is not supposed to defend as well against the pass as Colsey, but he looked mighty good on that one, Al. Oh, he sure did, and again, just to get back to a point, which could be the pivotal point. USC does not use Manfred Moore that much up the middle. They have not, not as much as uh, probably they should. You saw the big Pete Johnson, how he runs. Well, in this defense, if you don't have a fullback that's coming straight at it, your offensive running attack will not go. In motion, Davis. Now the handoff at the Shelton dig. He just came in as a wide man running the flanker reverse to replace Lynn Swan to give Swan a breather. Ohio State had that one diagnosed. It's to the 40-yard line of Ohio State, a gain of three, third and seven, and Jim Cope, who plays the short side or the boundary side of the field, at in, made the tackle. He's from McKeesport, Pennsylvania. Now USC's in a third and seven. They're trailing seven to three. Early in the second period, 13 minutes to play and a half. There he is running out of the pocket of the 40 to the 35. 30 has the first down. Hayden keeps the 29-yard line, brought down by Vic Cagle, the middle linebacker. They're turning a pass rush to the outside. When Hayden stepped up in the pocket, he has that open field ahead of him. That's it. Now, 62 is the man right here, Vic Cagle. He's dropping. Notice how that center opens up. Okay, the way the man capitalized, either you run your, or your fullback runs. They block to the inside on Pete Cusick. The quarterback runs. Here comes Cagle, 6'1". Nice fake on Gratishar. Huh. All right, first down. USC on the Ohio State 29. Davis hit and a great defensive play by Tim Fox. Number 12, the Monster Man. 
who shot through to Nailey. And now Anthony Davis may have minus yardage in this game. The leading ground gainer for USC is the quarterback, Pat Hayden, 28 yards and two carries. It's on the 35-yard line of Ohio State. Second down, 16 for USC. Davis off the field. And Rod McNeil comes in at tailback, number 27. Kurt, you almost got to run straight at this one. Diggs is a flanker wide left. Hayden looks his field over. He flares it out to McNeil. He gets the 30, and he stopped at the 25-yard line by Jim Cope, who dropped off his left end position to cover Rod McNeil. 213 pound, who when he was a freshman and sophomore, not standing until an injury. Become much more an aggressive runner. It's on the 27, they call it. Third and eight for USC. USC has had five third down plays today and made three of them. Ohio State has had three out of five. Third and eight. this time, 25-yard line Ohio State, Van Decree, the All-American in a war in Ohio. Van Decree. Nailed him at the 25. All right, the thing that's surprising me right now isn't the de defense, because I think it's a beautifully conceived Buckeye defense. It's the fact that if you're going to get to the outside on the pass or on a draw, particularly on the pass, the screen. The screen has not been used. Not sure is not going to be used with a field goal coming up, but we'll see it later. 42-yard field goal attempt by Lena Halu. He broke the USC school record in this game. His kick is up, and his kick is good. 47 yards, 42 yards for Chris Lima Halu. The old USC school record, 45 yards. The Rose Bowl record is 48. Lima Halu just missed that one. So the timeout represents the college money crunch. Thursday at 10 Eastern time, right here on NBC. Anthony Davis will kick off for USC. Back deep for Ohio State in the middle is Archie Griffin. On the far side is Bradshaw, and on the near side is Tim Holy Cross. We have 11 minutes, 12 seconds to go in the first half. It's 7 to 6, Ohio State. Also, in the eye of that wedge, if it is developed, will be the All American John Hicks, number 74. That's right, there he is. He's on the 20 yard line. Why would you want him there? What do you think? Mm, block, Talk about brother. three people down at one time. Best lineman in America this year, John Hicks. His kick is coming to Davis in the 15. Or to Griffin on the 15. Griffin's over the 35 and to the 36. Archie Griffin brought down by Ray Rodriguez. Ohio State will put the ball in play now on their 36-yard line. He likes to block. That's what you pay offensive tackles for. Good afternoon. Hmm. Never lost a stride. Green. The Griffin. Griffin's to his 44. Where he ran into Richard Wood. Number 83. And Dale Mitchell. It'll be a second down now, two yards to go for Ohio State. Seven to six, Ohio State leading. Ten and a half minutes to play in the first half. They're in their slot formation. That's the tight end, Puggy. Rashaw coming in motion. Green is a very clever faker. Ilya, the fullback up the middle. But in there trying to tackle Cornelius Green was number 85, Dale Mitchell, the left linebacker for USC. He thought Green had the ball. First down, Ohio State. Ohio State on their 47. All right, it continues to be a defensive, tough defensive game for the middle of both of the defensive units. Identical as we've said several times, you're going to attack it straight up the middle. The fullback is vital. If he gets off the ball, if he can attack that center hole, he'll go a long way. Green looks at the fence over. Makes the pass. As they try to run. Look at this running ability at the 50. 
Down on the 49 of USC by Danny Reese, the left linebacker. It's awfully tough to get off the line of scrimmage when you're a tight end. Number 80, Puggage, is a tight end, and he got off beautifully. Almost beautifully. Looking the wrong way, our team is parked. An accidental block, but he should block like that all the time, Al. Yeah, that's right. That was a pass play, no doubt about it, and Green turned it into a broken play. Second down, six, Ohio State on the USC, 48. Flags go down. Archie Griffin over the 45 to the 43. Kevin Bruce in the tackle. The Bradshaw was in motion. I'm not sure, Kurt, whether John McKay started that deep set that Ohio State is now using when O.J. Simpson was here, but keeping him as far off the line of scrimmage as he does, when that deep back gets the football, he can read that hole very well. The blocker hits up several strides ahead of him. He looks at the defense wherever the hole is. He goes. Motion penalty against Bradshaw of Ohio State, who's now in a wing back. He goes out, and Bash Nagel comes in. I don't believe Woody liked that mistake. Second down, 10. Total yards in this game, USC has 105, Ohio State 98. And the score is about that close. 7 to 6, Ohio State. 8.50 to go in the half. Draw play up the middle of Griffin. He's back in the USC territory to the USC 48, where he's stopped by Monty Doris, the middle guard, and Kevin Bruce, who's now an air linebacker, number 50. We'll have a third down coming. Sims is coming back in. And Anthony has linebackers for USC. Third down, five to go. Ohio State on the USC 48-yard line. Green to Griffin. He's hit by Riley, number 70. Art Riley stopped him. Well, they stopped Ohio State. It's on the 46-yard line of USC, fourth and three. And now coming in is an interesting story. Mike Keaton, number five, is going to try the first punt of his varsity career. Mike Keaton. Let's see how he does. Ladaney, the regular punter's out. Ohio State does one thing beautifully. They punted 39 times this year. The opponents returned only 34 yards. 39 punts. This is a good punt. It's sitting on the five. Look out here. They may, nope, they can't get to it. It's in for the touchback. And it'll be USC's ball first down on their 20 yard line. Randy Gratishar down there trying to cover that punt. Slap it back into the field of play. Trojans ball, first down. If you join us late here, the 60th Rose Bowl game. Lee Mahalu kicked a 47-yard field goal. 12-27 to go in the first period. An all-time record for a USC field goal band. Ohio State scored on an 80-yard march. Freshman Pete Johnson going over. Then another USC field goal of 42 yards, and that's the scoring. We have a timeout now. The crowd has been strangely quiet here in the second period. First down, USC on their 20. Davis in motion. Hayden flips it off to Moore, and for Moore, first down to his 31-yard line. And he's tackled by Rich Parsons, the Ohio State safety man, and Tim Fox, their rover. Well, we may find out that Manfred Moore can run the football. That's the opening that they're giving him, number 44. It was a block from the outside, a trap to uh, blocking on the linebacker. Manfred Moore hit it very nicely. Eight first downs for USC, seven for Ohio State. Rod McNeil's a tailback. McNeil going away from the flow of the play. Here's the pass to him, 35, 40, and he stopped at his 43-yard line by Tim Fox, number 12. Next time they line up, number, number 12, Tim Fox, an unusual number on defense. You know, in college, they could use any numbers they want on defense. But look at the left tackle of Ohio State. There he is, 42. How's that for a number for a defensive tackle? Arnie Jones, number 42, left tackle. 
Uh, agile tackle. First down, Southern Cal under 43. Matt Hayden now, seven out of 15. 77 yards. Get the ball off to Davis. 50, 45, 40. Out of bounds. And Anthony Davis gets the first running room of the day. Tim Fox drove him out. Davis, who had an Achilles tendon injury, an automobile accident, is a great baseball player. In fact, may go on into baseball after college. He's a center fielder. The pitch is to Rod McNeil. McNeil is plowed out on the 33-yard line by Jim Cope and Rich Parsons. McNeil, the second string tailback, and they have a third one, Alan Carter, and all three will see action today. Three yards. He has fresh tailbacks in there all the time, Al. Oh, he sure does. That's the old three system. How about this stat? Second down. Seven and the seven and first downs? I have nine seven. Well, ten seven may be right. 6-14 to go in the first half. Second down seven. USC in the Ohio State 34-yard line. Aiden on his deep drop. Uh-oh, he's in trouble. Now he's got to pick up the blocking. Goes on the run and hits his receiver, Lynn Swan, who cannot jump you. Swan going up there, pitched against the sideline in front of Steve Luke and Rick Middleton, and it's a first down for USC. They're now on the 23 of Ohio State. This Swan is very acrobatic up in the air. A marvelous athlete. Kurt, that was one of the best stiff arms I've seen in a long time. Pat Hayden getting a big rush to the outside. Looked like he was going to get pulled down. Stiff arm, the man faded back and made a big pass. That's two catches in the game for Swan. Six last year against Ohio State. And there is Anthony Davis breaking it to the 10-yard line. And the free tackle. Lead. So that's Rod McNeil. Let me check that. Well, they found the opening. They're attacking the weak spot. They're attacking, as some people call, the bubble. Let's watch it from the end zone. Trap back inside. The All-American missed the tackle. Gratishar. Rod McNeil. Boy, they're going to be looking at him. 6'3", 213, senior. Rod McNeil. First and goal to go on the 10-yard line. Here's a pass, touchdown, Anthony Davis to J.K. McKay. Anthony Davis threw the touchdown pass on a halfback option play. He's a left-hander, and he was wide open, J.K. McKay. Here it is again. Always a tough pass. Nice to be a left-hander. This man's idol, Treble and Nikoff. They wear the same number, J.K. McKay, 25. Now USC has just gone 80 yards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven plays. Very versatile offense, passing and running. So USC has grabbed the lead back again now. 12-7. John McKay, 14 years as head coach. He's also the athletic director here now at USC. I think we have a timeout charge. To Southern Cal, that's their third. And there's Traveler the second, the famed Trojan horse. And while we have time out, we're going to pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Well, now, thanks to Eternal Lash, you can have long, beautiful lashes that stay on as long as your own natural lashes. You see Eternal Lashes... Hockey League action Friday night and Sunday afternoon. There'll be 15 regular season games, beginning with Boston at New York on Friday... Minnesota versus the Red Wings on Sunday, plus the Stanley Cup playoffs. NHL on NBC starting this weekend. NBC Sports, number one in live coverage of major sports events all year round. Most points scored on Ohio State all year. You know they've shut out four teams. Six teams did not get a touchdown, including those four shutouts. 
13, the most points. It's about to be du uh, duplicated. Now they're going for two. Hayden. Under the gun, throws on the run. Caught by J.K. McKay. What a grab by McKay on a desperation pass by Pat Hayden. McKay was not his primary receiver. He just found him in the back of the end zone. McKay has a, a pair of sure hands. No, oh, two points and a score with a timeout. USC 14, Ohio State 7. Ray Rodriguez tackled him. Ohio State's ball now, first down. Five minutes and 12 seconds to play in the first half. Ohio State's ball. I'm going to spot that on the 30. Officially, you're supposed to go to the yard ahead, but it's resting almost on the 30. Green's a quarterback for Ohio State. The fullback is a freshman, Pete Johnson. In motion is Bashnagel. And Johnson is swarmed under that time. Charles Anthony hitting first. 87 is Ed Powell down there, left linebacker. And Richard Wood, 83. That's the first time they stopped Johnson's forward thrust today. And they're filling the hole. They're taking those two linebackers, popping the hole. Now, the quarterback is not frightened to throw the football. He's been throwing it to Puggage, number 80. Let's see if he tries it again. Total yard so far, USC has outgained Ohio State, 165 to 104. They run Archie Griffin, he gets two and that's all. Bonnie Doris, the nose guard, had a big nose that time. He was there waiting. He's really the secret, Kurt. He's the man they've got, they're trying to beat with that one man block. Here's Bonnie, Myers blocking on him, he's reading it beautifully. Chuck Anthony's getting Ooh. blocked from the one side. Plays that middle awfully well. Third and 10 for Ohio State on her 30 yard line. USC has gone ahead 14 to seven. Four minutes remaining in the first half. Green is gonna throw the ball. His pass is complete. I believe he had the first down at his 42 as he hits the tight end Fred Puggage from Ritchieville, Pennsylvania. There's a family of 13 that have seen him play every game. They go around in a traveling van. First down, Ohio State on their 42-yard line. Now Cornelius Green now is two out of four in passing. Ohio State on the move, roll out. Green's pass, what a catch that is. That's complete at the 44 by Dave Hazel, 82, to split in. That may be the best catch of the game. Why it might be. They've only scored five touch touchdowns by the pass this whole year. That's incredible. Nice catch. In fact, Kurt, the defense, two interceptions, three punt returns, one was a kickoff, has outscored them. USC, trying to hold it now. Archie Griffin, he's the workhorse, just a sophomore. He's to the 41-yard line. He runs into Charles Anthony. Ohio State threw only one pass against Michigan in the 10-10 tie. Today, they have attempted five in the first half, completed three, and it's been a valuable tool for them. Second down now. Seven to go. Green trying to set up. Takes off at the 40. 35, and he's down by Danny Reese, number 46, and Ed Powell, 87. Green is quick and can get outside on you. But Ohio State has another first down. They're on the Southern Cal 34-yard line. That uh, drive, that USC drive, they put 10 plays up. It's only seven plays in 80 yards for USC. Made a mistake up in the press box. Here's Green taking off. Good fake. Look at him run. Quick. Quick feet. Can change direction. Is to the 29 of USC. Again, Danny Reese brought him down. A sophomore from Wilmington, California. Five yard gain for Cornelius Green. Second down, five to go. Ohio State racing the clock now. Two minutes, 10 seconds to go in the half. USC's ahead 14 to seven. Ohio State was a one or two point pick in this game. Green, Archie Griffin, and he pounds 
to the 25, maybe the 24. Let's see when they unscramble. James Sims, number 41, and number 50, Kevin Bruce, the linebacker. Now, Kevin Bruce went into the football game for number 83, Rich Wood. He's going out, Rich Wood coming back in, the All-American. They have third down and a half yard to go. The time, a minute 35. There's a first down and more. Archie Griffin is to the seven yard line. He's explosive, isn't he? A minute 11 to go, first and goal on the two yard line. Green to Pete Johnson, the fullback. And he's stopped there by Charles Anthony. Ball's on the one-yard line. The clock is moving. Second down, a yard to go. A third and a yard now. Third and a yard. Wait a minute. They blew the whistle. Fifty-one seconds remaining. Timeout, Southern California. Southern California wanted a timeout. They stopped the clock, and why, I don't know, unless... They figured they weren't set. And that's there. This day right now, today is our 25th anniversary of station KPRC, our NBC affiliate in Houston, Texas. A happy 25th anniversary. Cornelius Green, talking to Woody Hayes. Ohio State has been excellent today in converting third down plays. Five out of eight. He also puts in that big John Smurder also as a tight end just to get as much blocking into that offense as possible. All right, the clock will start moving with a snap third and a yard to go for an Ohio State touchdown. USC's ahead 14 to 7. Pete Johnson's over, the fullback, the freshman fullback. Bash Nagel was in front of him, leading the way. Number 48, a freshman has scored two touchdowns in the Rose Bowl. Here it is again. You know where we're coming. We've said it before. Number 33. And he's got a lot of years ahead of him. What a backfield that's going to be, huh? Or is. Well, Ohio State drove from their 30-yard line. They've had two drives now of 80 and 70 yards. Blair Conway for the point. It is up. It is deflected. And it is blocked by Charles Phillips. Charlie Phillips deflected it off to the left. And Ohio State went up there and over after the deflection and still made it. So it's a tie game, 14 to 14. 12 plays, 70 yards for Ohio State. I want to remind you that Saturday, January 12th, we'll have the 25th anniversary of the North-South Senior Bowl, 1 o'clock Eastern Time. NBC Sports, number one in live coverage of major sports events all year round. Well, Ohio State will take that point for the assistance of linebacker Charlie Phillips of USC. Blair Conway gets a low line drive. Grabbed by Alan Carter on the five. Out to the 20, 25. He's to the 30 yard line. First down, USC on their 30. The tackle by Bruce Rule, number 43. All right, now you've got that situation. Not much time to go. You've got a Lynn Swan in the game. You've got a J.K. McKay. You've got that opportunity to go deep, short patterns. He can do it all. Hayden, we've seen him under pressure. Tremendous amount of poise. Game is figured out. Ohio State power, ball control power, USC wide open stuff, lots of passing. A tie game, 14-14. There's a screen to Lynn Swan trying to get away. And he's taken for a yard loss. They had that one diagnosed. Gratishar is over there. Decree, 88, the end. Rick Middleton, number 32. Arnie Jones, the tackle, 42. All around Lynn Swan. That's a loss of a yard. It's second down 11 for USC. 
And on that set, they took both J.K. McKay and Lynn Swan, put them to one side. Now, you know Ohio State is going to be playing Lynn Swan deep. So you might look for that other man, the man with a little bit less speed, to take it underneath the zone, 25 McKay. Second down, 11 for the Trojans. Rod McNeil brought down on his 33-yard line by Arnie Jones, the left tackle of Ohio State. Clock is moving now. 20 seconds to go in the first half. Quick lineup by USC. They have a third down and seven. Again, they run the ball. Rod McNeil is to his 40-yard line. He may have the first down. Rick Middleton and Vic Cagle tackle him there. And it is a first down, so they stop the clock. Nine seconds remaining in the half. All right, to wind the clock up. Hayden keeping the ball and running it out of bounds. Pushed out by Van Decree, and he really pushed him out. And the USC is unhappy with that one. Trojans come off the bench. They were standing right there. As a flag down. Hayden was trying to get out of bounds to stop the clock. And he was given a forceful push out by Van Decree number 88. And the Trojan fans are booing. And the Trojan fans then became irate. Degrees are playing very well. He's 6'1, he's only 215 pounds. He played an earlier screen well. May not have played this quite too well. Hayden was just trying to waltz out of bounds leisurely, and he winds up under the bench. Two seconds to go. And they're still booing Degree at Ohio State. Of course, remember this across the way is a hometown USC fan. Now the penalty of 15 yards goes against Ohio State. Puts the ball on the USC, 49. Personal foul against Ohio State's degree. You know, it's kind of hard to really explain the intensity or try to understand the intensity of a player like Decree. Coming in here so pepped up for this football game, made it, I'm sure now he, he regrets it. Whistle blows. Officials call for the time. Ken Randall now is in as a flanker wide. This will be the last play of the half. It's to Rod McNeil. And he's stopped, and the clock shows time is out for the first half. Rick Middleton, 32, made the final tackle of the first half. Well, look at that score. It's expected to be a dead even game, and that's just what it is. USC 14, Ohio State 14 at the end of the first half. Time of your life is playing America's favorite game show, Beat the Clock. Our contestants have 58 seconds to play the minute waltz. Ready? Start the clock. <laughs> for having the 
the time of your life includes the largest brass band in the world and the music of Jimmy Webb. It all comes together in the band's dynamic version of MacArthur Park. The most spectacular formation in college band history belongs to the Ohio State University Marching Band. This time-honored tradition is performed for the seventh time in the Rose Bowl, the incomparable Script Ohio.
for 236 pounds. All right, now the linebacker has to do a big job. He's going to get pushed out of this play. That's Bashnagel. The man cuts beautifully. Now let's take another look. Bashnagel leads it, blocks on Rich Wood. You know, once you break that tight defensive coverage, this man could have gone all the way. Boy, and we just play. had a broken play here for Ohio State. Illegal procedure. The right tackle, Hicks, jump. And that's a five-yard penalty, which puts the ball back on the 36-yard line of Southern Cal. Gives Ohio State a first and 15. Well, they move it back to the 37. It's a five-and-a-half-yard penalty. 14 to 14, a tie game. We just opened the third period. Bruce Ely is back in at fullback, 36. And there is the inside reverse to Brian Bashnagel, who takes the ball from the flanker spot and cuts inside number 48. Gary Jeter, the freshman tackle from Cleveland, Ohio, whose stepfather and John Hicks's mother both work in the same hospital. John Hicks, the right tackle, is Jeter's idol, and he's playing opposite him today. Second down now, 10 to go, fake. Green keeps the ball. His pass is to Pudgett, the tight end. A diving grab by Pudgett on the 14-yard line. Brett Pudgett takes that one. A fake to Bashnagel. Watch Bashnagel come across. And when a man can run, you've got to respect it. Bashnagel's move to the inside, pulls the linebacker. Green fires. Beats the All-American, really, Artemis Parker. And Puggett has been important. Well, that's four out of six passes for Cornelius Green. Fumble, the guy. First fumble of the game. Archie Griffin had the ball darn loose. Down there, number 72, Monty Gore for it. The nose guard. And Ohio State has its second turnover. And the first time either team has lost the ball via the fumble. What a fight's been going on inside. We've been talking about it. There's the pop right there. Big play. Monty Doris recovers it. Marvin Battle created it. All right, the Trojans first down on their 16. They're tied 14 all. 12.46 to go in the third quarter. Running the slot. And Anthony Davis is down on his 19-yard line. He's hit there by 71, Pete Cusick, the right tackle, and by Rick Middleton, the low side linebacker. And really, the difference of these two running attacks right now is the fullback. We know Hayden can outpass the young man, although Cornelius Green is throwing well, but it's the fullback. We haven't really seen Manfred Moore except for two carries. Rod McNeil's the tailback. He's 25 pounds heavier than Davis. But Hayden steps up. Out of that pocket he comes. Not much. He's down on his 18-yard line by Pete Cusick. Now they're, they're preventing him from stepping into the pocket and coming out of it. They contain him from getting outside. Now they stopped him from that big yardage. There's a look at USC's third down play so far. Four out of seven, a high ratio. Davis is back in at tailback. Neil, Col Neil Colsey Kurt is going to be playing Swan very tight. J.K. McKay, Swan on the same side. Hayden fires down the middle, and what a catch by Swan. But he went down with his knees, I'm sure. 36. Both knees touch the ground there at the USC 36. But it's still good for a first down. Swan arguing. He's going to lose the argument. Randy Gratishar on him. They put Swan inside very wisely. Neil Colsey played J.K. McKay. Swan hits to the inside. He fires. It's an unusual stride that Pat Hayden has. But it was a perfect strike. Lynn Swan. Lynn Swan has caught his fourth pass of the game. He's the leader in the Pac-8 this year with 37. He's the all-time leader now in USC pass-receiving history. And for more, the fullback. He came into this game tied with Rod Sherman, 91 catches in a career. 
But he's caught four today, so he is the all-time pass-receiving king of USC football. Cagle and Middleton on that last tackle. Ball's on the 38-yard line of USC. A second down seven. The game is tied 14 all. 10.35 to go in the third period. That's right. And yet, Kurt, we're waiting for the quick burst by the fullback. That's where the bubble is, straight up. On motion is Davis. Manfred Moore, that's hard running by the senior from San Fernando, California, who's used most of the time as a blocker. Randy Gratishar, the All-American linebacker, brought him down, helped by Vic Cagle. The ball now is on the 46-yard line of USC. A Trojan first down. One of the things McKay said was that Sam Cunningham's leaving was a big loss. Well, they haven't used Manfred Moore. I'll tell you, he looks like he can run and run well. 18 first downs for USC. Swan in motion. Now Hayden. Oh, that was nearly grabbed off by Vic Cagle. Right in his arms, a bullet pass. And he had a wide open field down that far sideline. He's the middle linebacker. Number 78 is Steve Riley. Number 71 is Pete Cusick. You keep your feet when you're blocking. The tackle tries to make a roll. Perfect position. That's school book type blocking. Second down, 10, USC. John McKay diagramming a play in his mind. They put Swan in motion again. Here's the draw play. Anthony Davis to the 45-40. Stopped at the 39 of Ohio State. And the tackle by Neil Colsey, number 20. Well, they know where the bubble is. Here it is again. Perfect call. You set up to the outside. You have a fullback lead draw. Anthony Davis now has 46 yards on the ground. Where you go, AD? And the Trojans have their 19th first down, the 13th for Ohio State. The game is tied 14-14, 9-20 to play in the third period. McNeil the tailback. Hayden's hit 11 out of 20. He hands it off to Manfred Moore. Manfred Moore on the fullback draw is to the 33-yard line. That starts out as a rollout. Rollout right, and he slips it off to his fullback. That's two draw plays in a row for USC. One to the tailback, one to the fullback. And Davis checks back into the huddle, replacing McNeil. Second down, four to go. USC on Ohio State's 33. Both Swan and McKay are in a slot left. Hayden, a deep set. He unloads to Swan. Him too much for that pass. Swan had a step on Cagle and Middleton. Now that there was a coach's dream to get a fleet receiver and two big linebackers covering. But that was a pass that just a little too far ahead of Lynn Swan. We've been pointing out how the middle of the defense has been playing. Vic Cagle is number 62. He's playing somewhat off the line of scrimmage. Arnie Jones, 42, plays to the outside. P. Cusick also to the outside. Vic Cagle either comes or he drops back. Look for it there. McNeil's the tailback. More ahead of him. McNeil to the 30, to the 29, maybe the 28. Rich Parsons, the safety man, came up. Radishar, the linebacker, 53 on that tackle. And again, USC has the first down, number 20 for USC. Once again, other than the passing attack, Hayden just a different type passer than Green. They're mirroring each other, both defensively and the running attack. 14-14, uh, it was, and it is, rather, and you can see why. Ken Kuhn replaces Gratishar, the open field linebacker. Swan in motion. The pitch to Davis, 30, 25. 20, cut back, out of bounds. 
sets out on the nine. The blocking by Moore, the gain, the tackle by Fox that saved the touchdown. Watch the blocking now, especially by 44. That's what made it work. He hits Steve Luke, breaks it to the outside, and the fancy stepping. Oh, he's got those quick feet. Watch him tightrope walk this sideline. This takes quick feet. Look at him. On his toes, dancing down that sideline, and Fox drove him out. First down, goal to go. Radishar back in. It deals the tailback. He has the ball. And the ball flies around and is recovered by USC. That ball flew up in the air. He was hit so hard and bounced to the one yard line. Falling on the ball is Manfred Moore, number 44. He was hit so hard that watch the ball pop up here, Al. Let's see this again now. It was almost the identical play to the one you saw a moment ago. Middleton is moving over. Manfred Moore is leading. There's the ball. It really pops up. That's Parsons that hit him. <laughs> That's so high it went out of our picture. And now there's Manfred Moore passing on it. What a play. It went for seven yards. Second down, two to go for a touchdown. Anthony Davis trying to dive for it. He stopped on the one-yard line. Third and a yard to go for a USC touchdown that could put them out in front in a 14-14 tie. Just under seven minutes to play in the third quarter. And you remember last year, Slam, Bam, Cunningham used to make that same kind of dive. Four times he dived over last year. Most valuable player of the game. You know, back in 1919, the player of the game award went to George Hallis of the Great Lakes team. Slot left. And it's a touchdown for Anthony Davis. Davis is over. On his side, he was over. Rick Middleton tried to stop him up in the air. Let's get some different angles on this. Up in the air goes the little man and hit pretty well in there, but he got it in just enough. Here's another angle. There's Pendleton, 32. Now watch 46 hit him. Now Al on the ground. On the ground. Now they're really going to come. Steve Luke pops him pretty good, but he got the ball over. Tim Ryan, Ted Lindsay, Brian McFarlane bring you all the action. Friday at 8.30 Eastern time. And it's a short kick. Picked up there on the 30-yard line and brought back to the 33-yard line. And it was picked up there by number 77, who's a lineman, and he is Doug France, Dayton, Ohio. One of his rare chances to lug the ball. Well, that last drive by USC was a beauty. There it is. That's the dope on it. 14 plays, 624, 86 yards, 84 yards, and Davis took it over. Now let's see if Ohio State comes back. They give the ball to Archie Griffin. And Griffin gets straight ahead to his 40. Oh, he can really find that opening inside. I saw a flag go down when he started to the line of scrimmage. They've had very few penalties. Two penalties on each team in the first half. And that's going against Ohio State. That's holding 15 yards. Interestingly enough, the second leading rusher on the team, Cornelius Green, has not done much of that at all. That is running. And he can run. He has not tried to exploit the outside because of the speed of the USC linebackers principally. First down, 22 yards to go. Pete Johnson back in at fullback. Green, coming out of the pocket. 20, he's at the 30. 35, and he stopped and he's 37. Now, the Ohio State bench is unhappy. Ted Robertson, number 47, and Dale Mitchell teamed up to stop him. What do you say? Come on, let's go. Let's get a drive going of our own. Now the official.
official. They're going to mark one off. And this is 15 yards against USC. A personal foul. Tag after the 16-yard run by Cornelius Green. Here's a replay of this. That's Pete Johnson leading in. He's in there at fullback. Good fake. Got that good there it is. quick stride. That's right it. there. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah. A late hit on the sideline. Personal foul. You know, with Pete Johnson in there, he has really impressed. A fullback, they're playing a little tighter. Sometimes they get Archie Griffin deep, sometimes tight. They're awfully close. It looks like a handoff to Johnson. Johnson gained 75 yards as a freshman. Archie Griffin is to the 43-yard line. Tackled by Richard Wood. While we untangle, we're going to pause briefly for a station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. CTV4 in Columbus, Ohio. I can't see. Archie Griffin, by the way, has now gained the most yards in any sing a single season for a Big Ten player. Green again. Going on the run. Hugging! And what a day Puggage is having. Danny Reese will come over eventually. Gets plenty of time. That rollout helps. It moves the pocket. Fires on the move. Perfect pass, Al. That sure was. Beautiful. First and goal to go. Ohio State on the USC 4. USC ahead 21 14. The old straight T. There goes Johnson. Three touchdowns for a break. Three touchdowns for an 18. Freshman Pete Johnson, Long Beach, New York. Here's a ground level shot. Do you want to see a hole? That is a hole. Now, Kurt, you could have carried that in. I believe so. I might have been able to. Let's take a look at it again. What blocking? He's running behind John Hicks, and he just waltzes in. Ash Nagel will spot it for Blair Conway. And that kick is blocked again by Charlie Phillips. He blocked one over the crossbar, but he blocked that one, and USC keeps the lead. USC 21, Ohio State 20. Davis is calling for it on the five. He's out to the 20. And he's down in his 28-yard line. Steve Luke is down there, and Bruce Rule. The attendance today, 105,267. Weekend of January 19th to 20th, NBC will present on Saturday, round three of the Dean Martin Tucson Open. The AFC NFC Pro Bowl game, Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City at two o'clock Eastern time, followed by the final round of the Dean Martin Tucson Open on Sunday. NBC Sports, number one in live coverage of major sports events all year round. Southern Cal's ball on their 28-yard line with a first down. Flags go down. I think Obradovich moved that down. That's it. He moved the tight end. The legal procedure. Go back to the Trojan 23, first and 15. That last drive, three plays, 79 yards for Ohio State. And the pass has been an important weapon today for Ohio State. Puggage has caught four passes for 89 yards. He caught five all season. He's caught four in one game. And he's been a leading passer, Seifert, all year with only five catches. Davis nearly has his head taken off by Nick Bonamici, who's now in there at left tackle, number 75. On the 26-yard line of USC, they have a second down 12. McNeil checks in at tailback. And Cornelius Green has completed five out of seven today for 104 yards. He has completed only 36% of his passes coming into this game. 
Hayden Pass. And the receiver, Obradovich, had his back to the play. Hayden says, what happened? Turn around, look for the ball. Third down, 12. The USC on their 26. They're leading 21 to 20. Just over four minutes to play in the third period. And on that play, they had Rod McNeil wide open to that side. Rod McNeil went out. It looks like Anthony Davis has come back in. They may repeat. I, I rarely see them throw to Anthony Davis. Now we have the third streak tailback in, Alan Carter, number 21. Okay. Passing play. Aiden out of the pocket. He throws. Good. Out of the reach of a bad additional tight end. And I believe he ran across the line of scrimmage. I think Pat Hayden crossed the line of scrimmage when he threw the ball. You saw, I saw, you saw a flag go down. That's it. An illegal forward pass. Again, the zone drop. He's trying to capitalize on it. Beautiful discipline zone. The short zone, the deep zones. That's the pass, but he was definitely beyond the line of scrimmage. That's an illegal forward pass. A loss of the down, a penalty of five yards. Jim Lucas will punt now. And Neil Colsey is deep. Here's a kid that's averaged 17 yards of punt return. The best punt returner in the history of Ohio State. Oh, he just got it away. Colsey fields the ball at his 35. It's up to the 40, 45, 50, 40. He can break this one. 25, 20. And they bring him down inside the pen. Neil Posey. What a punt returner. He has four touchdowns this year. Two on interceptions. Two on punt returns. And he almost does this. There's the seam. Neil Colsey, the tradition of the great punt returners. Actually, Pat Hayden helped make that play because he forced it back to the inside. Well, well, they take a breather after that 57-yard return. Oh. And looking again is Pete Johnson, the fullback, the freshman, having a day that a freshman would dream about. Number one, how many freshmen ever get to play in a Rose Bowl? Number two, how many score three touchdowns in a Rose Bowl game? And he has now carried the ball today 16 times for 82 yards. Second down, four to go for an Ohio State touchdown. And Johnson this time, look at the power of that kid. He was hit at the line of scrimmage. I told you he carried three Michigan players over five yards away. And that time, he blasted forward to about the yard and a half line. Watch his power, Al. Jim Cagle blocking in front of him. Kurt Schumacher blocking there. And here's the power. Richwood makes what looks like a perfect tackle. And yet he fights on. Third down now, and a yard and a half to go for an Ohio State touchdown. That could put them out in front. And he is stopped. That time they stop him. USC really. Charles Anthony, number 55. Betty Pye. And down at the bottom of that pile. Number 79, the freshman, Gary Jeter. Watch it again. Here it is again, and he is popped. The most points scored in the Rose Bowl game, we did it last year. He doesn't get in. Sam Cunningham did it with 24, and he's close. Pete Johnson. And Ohio State has called a timeout. They have fourth down and a yard to go for a touchdown. They're trailing 21-20. Number 55 is Charles Anthony of USC. Over on the sideline talking to his defensive coach. Here's the Ohio State band in their stand. All right, we saw one of the biggest holes I have ever seen on a goal line or on any line. The last touchdown Pete Johnson made. He ran at his All-American tackle. He's trying just about every hole. They're continuing to pop their big gun in there. There's Woody Hayes talking to his people. Cornelius Green back in. That hole was to the right side before. I wonder if they'll come back there. All right, Ohio State up. 
fourth down and a yard to go for a touchdown. Asking the crowd to quiet down. Everybody in a Rose Bowl now coming up on their feet. 105,000 here today. They want to see this goal line play. I'm not going to say this is the play of the game because every time one team scores, the other club comes right back and puts on a magnificent march. This is going to be one of the big ones. And it is a touchdown for the quarterback, Green. Cornelius Green, the sophomore, is over. And Ohio State goes back in the lead. Like the typical play. They thought it was going to go to this man. What a fake. Beautiful, Cornelius. There's that hole, Al. Sure was. Let's see it again. Watch this fake. This is real faking. Look at him. Slip it in and take it out of the belly of Pete Johnson and scamper over for the score. How about from the ground? On the ground here, you're watching three sophomores and a freshman right now in that Ohio State backfield. Now, what will they do? They lead 26-21. And they're going to go for two. I like this two-point play. Bruce Elia is the fullback. Flag has been dropped. And they bring him back five yards. Well, now a change of strategy. This puts the ball on the eight-yard line. And Blair Conway comes in. Holding will be Bashnagel. And another flag goes down. That's offside against USC. Offside against USC. I think it was Sims offside. Now they're calling the uh, captain over. Ohio State and they want to talk to their coach as they say, hold up all right the offside penalty is declined they take the extra point on the successful conversion kick so it's Ohio State 27 USC 21 two minutes 12 seconds to go in the third period time to cover the kickoff and you keep thinking 43 points all year USC has 21 already against a super defensive team playing a different type defense today but just executing perfectly listen to these offensive figures i'll give them to you in just a moment davis at tailback ward fullback pat hayden but swan in motion hayden slips the ball off to davis. and davis is to the 26 yard line where jim cope the right end radishar are in on the play. So it's second down and three to go. USC on their 26. McNeil back at his tailback. USC today has 306 yards total offense. Ohio State has 316 yards. Both teams are over 300 yards in total offense. Second down three for the Trojans. Aiden. He's to the 29-yard line, very close to the first down. And the Cree, number 88, the end, made the stop for Ohio State, and they're going to measure. Now in there at left defensive tackle, coming out, Nick Bonamici. He was in there briefly for 42, Arnold Jones. Lynn Swan, a flanker back. That's against Fox Curry. A lot of interesting things happen. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> it looks like <laughs> one of the great wrestling matches of the century. Yeah, great foothold by Tim, uh, <laughs> against Tim Fox. Fox and the Hounds. Third down and a foot to go. The quarterback sneak by Pat Hayden. He has the first down. USC's ball. A long
along their 30-yard line. The score is 27-21, Ohio State. One minute to play in the third quarter. McNeil back in his tailback. And really the one big thing we haven't seen is the bl blistering speed of Lynn Swan deep. They're playing him deep. They're playing him very cautious, but he can fly. Now they're back in the regular set with McNeil going in motion. Hayden goes on the run. And some of the Buckeye fans are saying he intentionally grounded that pass. The college rule is you very rarely see a call for intentionally grounding unless he just spikes the ball almost at his feet. But if there's no one in the area where he throws the ball, it's intentionally grounding. But there were a couple of red-shirted Buckeyes over that way. Van Degree was in there after him, chasing him. There are the first downs. But it's on the scoreboard that counts that Ohio State has a 27-21 lead. USC's ball on her 30-yard line, second and 10. Davis again, the tailback. Ken Kuhn has come in as middle linebacker, replacing Cagle for Ohio State. This pass is to Manfred Moore, and he's hit by Steve Luke. Really belted him there. Manfred Moore coming out of the backfield. He caught 16 passes during the regular season. You know, on the far side, they booed a moment ago Van Decree, but he's playing that spot extremely well. As I mentioned earlier, not too big. 6'1", 215. But he's playing it rather loose. It's going to have a difficult time getting out to that side. It's going to be very difficult to try to screen against him. All right, we have a third down and five. You Ohio State fans will have the Cree next year. There's the end of the third period. And what a Rose Bowl we're having here. We start Other fans. Kurt Gowdy and L.D. Rogatis, USC's ball, third and five under 35. Aiden Stock goes to J.K. McKay. He catches the ball and he's 38. He's short of a first down. Somebody asked him how it felt to play for the He's hurt, his knee. I, I felt the play for his father, the coach. Since my father doesn't coach the players, he coaches the coaches. J.K. McKay was hurt when he came down, hit up in the air. And now you're going to have an anxious father over in the sideline. Not just the player, but his son is injured. John McKay's the kind of man, though, Kurt, as we both know, that everyone on that field is treated like his son. Now it's a punting situation. Jim Lucas to punt, and Neil Colsey's back. He ran one back 57 yards the last time to set up the go-ahead touchdown for Ohio State. Here's a low kick right at him. Bad kick for a return. Colsey is covered this time, and he stopped on his 36-yard line. USC got away with that line drive punt. Leading ball carrier in this game for Ohio State's their freshman, Pete Johnson, 86 yards. Archie Griffin has 71. Anthony Davis has 69 yards for USC. And now you're playing Woody Hayes' football game. He's ahead of you. He'll like to grind it out. He wants to eat up the clock. He has that big freshman in there, Johnson. Griffin the tailback. Cornelius Green waiting for the snap. Green's going to pass. Maybe. can really stay on his feet. Ed Powell, the left linebacker, brought him down after about four shots at him. Well, that's not what he hates. It's kind of football, Kurt. Looks like you're going to eat up the clock. First down, he's going to pass. What's happened to Coach Hayes? That cloud of dust isn't here today. Well, as he says, he's mellowed. He's been all yeah. sweetness and light out here for the last 10 days for these history folks. Second down, two. Johnson, the fullback, just made it to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Art Riley and Monty Doris spending there. Riley, the right tackle, number 70. Third and two now for Ohio State on their 43-yard line. The passing has been important for Ohio State. They've been kidding the Ohio State passing attack, but they've hit five out of seven and set up two of their touchdowns today. So early in the fourth period. Third and two. They run Archie Griffin, and he is stopped. 
short of a first down. Ed Powell, Charles Anthony, and Anthony's been outstanding today, number 55, senior, and Art Riley, number 70. All right, here's the punting team on for Ohio State. And suddenly, both defenses start to stiffen up. Now, here's the kid that made his first appearance in a varsity game in the first half of one punt. He's replaced the star punter of Ohio State, but then he fractured his ankle. So here's his second punt of his varsity career. And it's not a bad punt. Coming to the 21-yard line to Anthony Davis. Davis is really smashed down at his 28. And while he is this son, find out when Red Fox and Desmond Wilson star as Sanford and Son starting Friday at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Hayden throwing. No good to J.K. McKay, who is all right. No knee injury, back in the game. He has caught four passes today. Lynn Swan has caught four. Puggich has caught four for Ohio State for 90 yards. All right, second down 10, USC on the 28. Now suddenly both offenses starting to sort of Blame out, Al. That's right, Kurt. The strategy's a little different right now. They're sputtering. Let's see. Time blocking. Excellent blocking. Watch Ilya. Watch this blocking up front. That's a murderous offensive line they have. They've had some holes out of this goal line you wouldn't believe. Pete Johnson scored three touchdowns. Ilya won now. They're going for two. Green keeps the ball and makes it. Cornelius Green has it. And Ohio State now leads by 14. Timeout, Ohio State, 35, USC, 21. Coming to Alex Carter on the six-yard line. And he's hit by number 84 for Ohio State, and that is Robert Brzezinski. And Woody Hayes just pours them in there. A much maligned passing attack of Ohio State has been the story of this game. They have thrown just enough to open up USC and make the run more effective. Cornelius Green has attempted eight passes and hit six of them, and some of them have been big ones, 20, 30, and 40-yard passes, which has really made USC think on defense. First down, USC under 22. Now Hayden. Slipping as he sets up, overthrows J.K. McKay. Two or four times Hayden has slipped as he set up. That's right. Now Ohio State really has the Trojans where they want them. They want them to throw the football. They will not use too much time doing it. Ohio State knows they can move the football. If, if uh, Hayden is going to throw it well, Kurt, he's going to have to, again, try the short areas over the middle. They're taking away the outside. This defense, by the way, has just worked beautifully. Second down, 10. USC now trailing by 14 points. Aiden comes up out of the pocket. He's under pressure. Throws on the run. And it's a great grab by Lynn Swan. And what a pass by Pat Hayden for a right-hander to run left. And then, as you're running left, jump and throw. That takes some ability. Southern Cal has a first down. We have a, a player injured for Ohio State. Neil Colsey's coming out. Watch your right-hander go left. Very difficult pass, right, Al? Boy, it sure is. He's got that poise that we've seen frequently that makes for a great quarterback. Constantly watching that secondary, throwing on the move. Look at that jump. Jump. Oh. And he get up there. And he jumped. Southern Cal's ball first down on her own 39. 10 minutes, 14 seconds to go in the Rose Bowl game. That's Colsey who was injured. He returned to punt 57, a big play of this game. Anthony Davis hit at the 44 of Southern Cal by Tim Fox, who's been a stick out on defense today for Ohio State. Number 12, and he's down. 
That was Fox's 10th tackle. That was a big one. He made a big tackle there because Davis had a full head of steam up. There was a good block by Manfred Moore. Davis cut back and going full tilt hit Tim Fox. Anthony Davis has 74 yards on the ground. The top ground gainer, Archie Griffith with 97. He was shaken up, taken out. He hasn't been back in. The freshman, Pete Johnson, has 86 yards for the Buckeyes and three touchdowns today. A freshman with three Rose Bowl touchdowns. Back in. All right, Hayden throws the swing. Out to Davis. Davis has the first down after the juggling catch. And Neil Foley's over there to drive him out. Number 20. And that's a USC first down. And now the tempo's picking up. You see a difference. You see the way these men are coming off the ball. Anthony Davis, who has not caught well, flew out of that backfield. The tempo is picked up. They know they've just about got the score here. Now Pat Hayden has put the ball up 29 times today and hit 15. His seasonal percentage, 56% of his passes attempted were completed. McNeil in motion. And for more to the 45 of Ohio State. You know, as hard as they're hitting, Al, and as fired up as both teams were, it's remarkable they're playing with so few mistakes. It's an extremely well-played, hard-fought, very clean football game. That little incident with Decree really was just a matter of a man being so high. But other than that, beautifully coached, representing two great states very well. Nine minutes to go in the Rose Bowl. 35-21, Ohio State. Aiden on second down. Wings it to Davis, incomplete. Third down, seven. Stay tuned right after this game. We'll switch to the Orange Bowl in Miami, Penn State, and LSU. And John Capaletti, the Heisman Trophy winner, performing in that game. We haven't heard much, really. The tight end on the opposition has done well, but it's been Obradovich, really, who's done so well for USC. The tight end, Hayden, has not used him that much today. Neal back in a tailback. Coon is now the middle linebacker replacing Cagle. Third and seven for USC. Forty-five. Forty. He's short of a first down. He stopped on the 39 of Ohio State. And he's hit there. See as they look to that sideline, they almost have to go for it, fourth and a yard, and trailing by 14. Fourth down and a long yard to go. Rod McNeil is in the football game. Is he carried deep secondary? All right, here we go. Fourth and a yard, and he's going to pass for it. His pass broken up, Flag down on Colsey, Neil Colsey. Reaching over and hooking Lynn Swan for pass interference. First down, USC. And both teams are going right at the heart, the strength of it. That is the Gratishar being blocked. And ball over the top. Total yards in this game now. Ohio State, 378. USC 362 and the score 35-21 Ohio State. Southern Cal on the Ohio State 29 yard line with the first down. Big rush on him. Dumps it off to McNeil. Just got rid of that ball in time. Out of the 25. Colsey made the tackle and the heat was put in there by Ken Kuhn who was blitzing from the middle linebacker position Number 54, the four-yard gain, second down six for USC. We'll try to get a look at Jim Obradovich. He's number 89. We're trying to figure out why is it that Hayden has not been going to him. It could be the man, the linebacker, forcing him inside. Second down six. Anthony Davis, no gain. Number 32, Rick Middleton underneath. On top, Jim Cope, the right end. Third and six. USC. 
behind 35-21. Time moving against them. There's their third down situation. Seven minutes to play. And John McKay knows that they have to keep this drive going. Third and six. The motion. McNeil. Aiden with a rush by Coon. Getting away. And now buried. I threw the ball away. But the whistle had blown him dead at the 40-yard line. Van Decree in there. Ra Randy Gratishar. But it was Decree who put it on him, and they really went after him. They were blitzing on this play. Boy, they were, and they were coming hard against a good offensive line. A big play. Heard there were a lot of arguments about who represents the Big Ten. I know Woody Hayes was under a great deal of pressure, but we have to say this team has done just a beautiful job. There's Decree. There's Van Decree putting him down, and Pat Hayden tried to dump it off. And a timeout has been called by USC. This is a fourth and 21 coming. Pat Hayden wants a conference with his coach. 6.20 to go in the game. And NBC tells you the score is Ohio State 35, USC 21. It's over. We'll switch to Miami, LSU against Penn State in the Orange Bowl. Now here is a 21 yards they need. And he unloads it deep. And it is into the hand of Lynn Swan and out. Rick Middleton, I think, slightly deflected it. And he was down there around the 10 or 15 yard line. He could have held on to it. It would have been a first down. Oh, I don't think Time over 100 yards. How about that for a sophomore? He's played 11 games this year, and every game he's gained at least 100 yards. Two more years to go. Bad news. Bad news. The future opponents of Ohio State. Because he's getting better all the time. And he'll get bigger and stronger. On second and five, Pete Johnson, a freshman. More bad news for you future Ohio State opponent. That's he has three more years to go. That's big bad news, I'll tell you. He is something. Well, he sure... He gives it to Pete Johnson. He's in USC territory to the USC... 47, where Charlie Phillips brought him down. I'll still hang my hat on that passing of Cornelius Green today as a key for Ohio State. Oh, it sure was. You know, you're talking about the fullback, and so was I. Not only Pete Johnson, but Ilya. And in the wings, a man that Rob now ranked fifth all-time scorer, Champ Henson, who has not gotten, gotten into the game. Had a knee operation in September. He is dressed. He can play, but probably will not. Clock moving in Ohio State's favor. 4.45 to go. There's Archie Griffin again. Still on the move. 25 to the 20. He may make this. He is over. Touchdown. 40. Seven-yard run for Archie Griffin. One of seven brothers watching. All right, that's Rich Woods firing across. Here's the first angle. Again, another super block by the big fullback. Behind him, and they And they're just youngsters. This kick, taken by Alan Carter. Carter brings it up to the 36. Ohio State wanted revenge today for the shellacking they received last year by USC. And also, as I told you, they're trying to stop that lost streak that the Big Ten's had against the Pack 8. Jerome Davis made that tackle. Ohio State has moved for 438 yards in this game. The all-time record, Iowa's, 516 yards. They shoot that ball to Kay, and it's a first down, USC, on the Ohio State 44. L. Forrest Nevyshevsky's Iowa team back in 59 made 516 yards, an all-time Rose Bowl record. Today, Ohio State has 438 yards. Well, they've proven so much to us. USC losing one, tying a tremendous Oklahoma team 7-7 and being taken apart now. He dumps it off to Manfred Moore. Moore stops. 
Well, I don't know. Oklahoma, you know, Notre Dame winning that spectacular game last night, Alabama. I imagine a lot of Buckeyes would like to see Ohio State play anyone. I wouldn't mind seeing Ohio State play anyone, I'll tell you. Of course, the governor of Oklahoma has been here for the Rose Bowl. Yes. His team couldn't go anywhere this year. He decided to come to the Rose Bowl. Governor Hall. Ken Gray is now the fullback. And this is a broken play. Hayden is diving ahead. I don't believe he had the ball securely when he took the snap. Timeout. Call by USC. He's chased down. That's the third sack. Van de Cree has him 88. Van de Cree, boy, did he come to play football today, and he has been a big factor. We said earlier they threw a different defense at him. He's quick. Beats the block there. He's been brilliant today on defense. Not too popular with USC fans, but Ohio State will take him. That play lost back to the 45. It's second down now. And 22 yards to go. 45 or 42 21, Ohio State. They've rolled in the fourth period, setting up a screen to Moore. Moore brought down on the 40 by Vic Cagle, number 62, the middle linebacker. The Ohio State female, much quicker team speed than last year. They all move well, laterally. That's right. You were talking about some of the factors, and you know, we asked Coach John McKay about this team before the game, and one of the things he brought up was his defense, their ability to move, and they are exactly that much quicker. And I think John McKay, he's an admirer of Woody Hayes. Hayes thinks McKay is an innovator. I think you'll see the left end move here for Southern Cal. The pass is doing for a touchdown, but I think you're going to see Obradovich move. I saw a flag go down. Obradovich's motion caught my eye, and I'm sure this is going to be called back. He jumped the gun. Watch it here. Watch it. There he goes. That's him. He beats the snap, and he wipes out a touchdown for USC. Dennis Venetian and Joe Costanza have been our aides here in the booth today. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And our good friend, Dr. Bob Woods. He's the, of all the physicians in the Los Angeles area, Mr. Sports, Dr. Bob Woods. He just does it for the love of it. And Zane Radney is our production stage manager. Hayden unloads a deep one. Well covered, though, incomplete. Meant for Lynn Swan. They fairly effectively bottled Lynn Swan today, Al. Yes, they have. That deep zone, we've seen it all year. It's hard to throw deep against it. Right now, he's forced to throw deep against it. You're just not going to beat it. You've got to come short, and so Ohio State says, okay, that's what we'll give you. But he's not taking it. You had a senior there, Lynn Swan, covered by two freshmen, Bruce Rule and Jerome Davis. That Swan undoubtedly will go in the number one round of the pro picks. He has everything to look for as a wide receiver. Fleet of foot, the hands, the jumping ability, the athletic competitiveness. Here's a fourth down play. Aiden down the middle. It's J.K. McKay, and it's the first down for USC. J.K. McKay. Oh, complete. And lost, and it's Ohio State's ball, I think. Shelton Diggs caught the ball. He had control and lost the ball. Randy Gratishar hopped on it. Ohio State ball. Elias Green, another sophomore, has been voted the player of the game. Last year was Sam Cunningham. Sam the Bam for USC. First down, Ohio State under five. They give it to Bruce Helia, the fullback. And he wants to go back to linebacker. I think you'll see him there next year with Pete Johnson coming up behind him, the freshman. 
who rambled today for three touchdowns and 94 yards, Pete Johnson. He's just starting to learn what it's all about. Ohio State has it wrapped up, 42-21. 40 seconds to go. There's Ilya again. Ilya brought down by Gene Ardarian. Ohio State taking a lengthy huddle. We hope you've enjoyed the game today. It was going right down to a tight one to the middle of the fourth quarter when Ohio State broke it open. That's the time remaining. Ilya carries for a first down. They're just eating it away. A happy fan of Ohio State fan. Their team has the revenge that they wanted, and they stopped the Pacific 8 winning streak. The Big Ten is going to be the winner today. Four seconds to go. And the Big Ten has come back. And the much discussed selection of Ohio State to come out here. Ohio State has come through for the Big Ten athletic directors today. That's right. When you think about, when you think about last year and that overwhelming defeat, 42. There it is. That's 17 the final and they reversed it. And Ohio State has won it 42 to 21. And so Kurt Gowdy and L.D. Rogatis bid you goodbye. A very happy new year.